Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're taking a look at another piece of Advance of Zeta goodness. This is the HGUC Premium Bandai Emergency Escape Pod Primrose. So this once again is sponsored by US Gundam Store, so a big thank you to them for supporting this adventure into the wonders of Advance of Zeta. And so if you want to check out some Premium Bandai stuff or everything else they got on their site, do check out the link to US Gundam Store there down below in the description. The coupon code there, Zacharelius10, is there as well. You can use that to save 10% off everything on their site. So let's check out the box here. As you can see, it's Premium Bandai, and it's very small because all you're getting is just this kind of little thing that's basically just a mishmash of parts. There's a lot of different things in here uh, that you can do with this. You have to use it basically kind of in combination with other things. You can just have it by itself just like that, but uh, it's not. It's going to be kind of weird, I think, just as it is like that, as the Primrose is just by itself. It's a little bit goofy looking, but as with all things Advanced Zeta, it's all a matter of just smashing everything together and you end up with something cool. So in just kind of a typical Premium Bandai style, there's not really too much on the outside of the box. There is no list price for this, but if I remember correctly, it was somewhere around like the $15 range for this. So not too bad. That is, of course, only if you can get it at the original price. Unlike with the Hurudu, unfortunately, this one is not going to be coming with any water slides, where the Hurudu did only come with just a couple, but this one doesn't come with anything at all. So as you can see in here, we've just got just a few parts there and nothing really too much and then we've got our manual so the manual looks to be pretty involved for the size of this there's a kind of a lot going on in this manual it's pretty long so there's going to be a lot of this manual basically just showing you how to make different versions of different things so here it gives you a whole list. It says the following products are required to create the Gundam TR-1 Hazel Osla, the Hazel Next Generation Mass Production Machine, the equipped with Hurudu, equipped with Tri Booster Unit, and equipped with Enhanced Shield Boosters. You'll need the uh, Primrose here, you'll need the Hazel Custom and Expansion Parts, you need the Hazel Advanced Hazel and Expansion Parts, you'll need the Hazel 2, and then you also will need the G Parts Hurudu to make all the different stuff that you can make with this. So a lot of different things there. We do have our color guide down here, not in color, but you have the colors listed there in Japanese and English. And then we should have our parts list around over here as well. So you can see there's the runners there, just one full one, and then a couple of smaller ones, some polycaps, and a stand for this. So down here with the construction, we're just building the stand first, and then you'll get to work on making the actual just primrose itself. Got a couple of different options here straight away, whether you want to make this uh, for with the equipped with the enhanced shield boosters you'll need to make this version otherwise you need to make this version of that the main kind of backpack part of that and just kind of through the construction of the primrose itself there then once that's done it kind of gives you a guise to where the place a couple of the stickers and then it gets into different variation things that you can make so this would be to make the Gundam TR-1 Hazel Osla. So you'll have to use some different parts here. It says you need the Hazel Custom, the Advanced Hazel, the Hazel 2, and the Hurdudu all together to make this mess of a thing. Showing you all the different steps to make that. And so yeah, it's pretty involved. And then over here, it's showing you how to make uh, the Hazel Next Generation Mass Production Machine. Anyway, that's what that is. And then over here, we've got how to make, uh, equipped with Hurudu, basically how to combine the Primrose and the Hurudu together. Uh, and then equipped with the booster unit, so how to equip this with a booster unit from the Hazel 2, uh, connected with the Primrose there. And then how to make this connected with the shield boosters. And I think that about does it. So yeah, there's a lot going on in the menu. Let's check out the runners themselves. So first up, it looks like we do have a sheet of foil stickers here. You can see there's a few different color correcting foil stickers on there. And then a small little set of marking stickers, basically just a few Titans Test Team logos there in white and black. And then we've got some polycaps here in gray. This would be PC123. And then our A runner here is in three different colors and it is marked there uh, primrose at the marking for this runner. We've got one red part, some yellow parts up at the top and the rest of it is in that kind of typical advance of Zeta off-white. And you can just see how broken up this runner is, how you've got this section which is for the shoulder armor parts and then this section sectioned off which is for the backpack parts. And so you can see how they're able to break this up for different releases. And then we've got runner B1 here, which is just some of the gray kind of mechanical parts that you'll need for this. And then as well as runner B2, which would just be from this whole section over here, but this is in that uh, Titan's dark blue color there for a couple pieces. And then of course the stand that you can use for this here in black. So that's it for the unboxing. As you can see, uh, there's not a whole lot in there, but some very essential parts that you'll need if you're a big Advanced Zeta fan and you want to make some cool variations. 
All right, but just simply built up as the Primrose unit here is how it's going to look on the included stand that you have. And the included stand is very simple, very basic, uh, but I kind of highly doubt that a lot of people are going to be keeping the build just as this form anyway, but I just wanted to show it to you guys just so you have a look at what this looks like just as a Primrose unit. But as we saw in the manual, there's a ton of stuff that you can make with this, and so I'm just gonna go over, it's actually a little bit hard to wrap your head around to be honest, but uh, we'll go through it slowly and just, sh I'll try to show you guys every variation that I can as far as just like what's shown in the manual, what you can make with this. Uh, I think I have most of the parts and stuff available to be able to show you everything that shows here in the manual, but there's still a lot of different stuff that you can make with this, of course. But just the unit by itself, of course, is pretty goofy looking. It's a very odd looking thing, but there it is. It's cool. The stickers look fine. The color correcting stickers are all right looking, and the marking stickers on there look okay. On the white parts, on the dark blue part, though, that sticker not going to be looking as great because you can see the outline of that very easily with that uh, just being just a normal sticker. Right, so these are all the other extra included parts that you have with this that you're gonna need for making different variant stuff. But the first thing, the first variant we come across is actually needing these parts, which were actually included with the, this was with the Advanced Hazel and Expansion Parts set for Gundam TR6. That was the P Bandai set of the Advanced Hazel that also came with some extra little parts for that. So that came with this. And what that gives you is the ability to make this backpack a little bit different. So then that is going to look like that. And then actually you, in order to make this form of it, you need two of this kit because you need a second one of these parts here to go like this on the opposite side as well. So you should have two of these bits on there like that. And then according to the manual, actually you're supposed to have two of this particular shield, but I'm just gonna use one of each like that just because what that was what included with the other, sep sold separately, P Bandai set here. So you'll just plug those onto the back of that like that. And there you go, you can make this, which is the equipped with enhanced shield boosters form of the Primrose. So that is something that you can make. All right, so back to the original form. And just one more thing really quick before we move on. I just want to point out about the cannon here on this side. This will open up. It's kind of difficult to get it off here. But you take that off and then you put this back on in this position here for that to be opened up for the firing position for when that's opened up like that. So, all right, the next thing we're going to be doing is the equipped form, equipped with the tri-booster tri unit, which you'll need from the Hazel 2. So the first thing is we don't need this part, so you can remove that. But what you do need is a second cannon, so you will once again have to have two of this kit in order to make this the proper way. So you need to move this connection piece around the opposite way and just attach that the same way onto the opposite side. So you'll have two of those going like that. And then this backpack on the back of here, you'll remove, you won't use this. You'll need to use your backpack from the Hazel 2, the Tri-Booster backpack. So you just take that, remove the beam saber handle because that's not technically supposed to be on there. And just plug this right onto the back of here. And there we go, there it is, equipped with tri-booster unit. So once again, another form that you can make, one more. So to make the equipped with Hurdudu form, you of course will need the Hurdudu, also sold separately. You don't necessarily have to have the white version, it doesn't really matter which version, but uh, this one, we don't need these parts here on the front, so we'll just go ahead and remove these. And for the Hurdudu, you can remove this part, you're not gonna use that, and you need to temporarily take off this part. You're going to angle these bits up, and then put this back on in the opposite way, back around on the back of the Hurdudu like this, and this part keeps wanting to fall off. Then you need part uh, A24 from the Hurdudu set, which is going to plug into the top of your primrose here onto the top of the backpack part there like that. Then that will connect the two of these together. And there is your primrose equipped with Hurdudu there, so pretty cool. I'd say this is probably of those three like alternate forms, this is probably my favorite one just because the Hurdudu just looks so cool. So uh, the combination of the two here is probably the most uniform like version that actually looks like a real thing. But all right, those were the easy forms. Now we get a little bit more complicated. All right, so we don't need a few parts of this and we do need a few other parts. So this part we do need and these little wings on the bottom we don't need. So we're gonna take those off and be careful with these because they're very easy to fall out and be lost, I think. Also this part here at the front, the head, we don't need that part and set that to the side. And the backpack, we don't need that. By the way, we're building the Hazel Ausla unit. So here is what we need. This section, this section, this middle section, this section minus this part here on the top, and then the cannon from this kit. So 
you'll take this part among your like extra leftover parts that you need for a billion different forms and stuff. Not leftover parts is in their trash, but leftover necessary parts. You'll take that, connect this together. This is gonna form your new torso and then put this part on top of there and then the neck joint part, ball joint for that up on top of there and new parts for the front of the chest. Once again, just included with the primrose set here. Just put those together like that and we're building up our new torso unit here. We're gonna stick this part here on the side and then we have an alternate part from the one that we removed just moments ago and you'll stick this one here onto the side here and opposite side just uh, the same way but with the part you didn't have to swap the part on the side there. So there is how the new torso is gonna look. All just built so far just out of all the parts included with the primrose set here but now we get into the advanced hazel parts. Basically what you need to do is take the front camera section of the advanced hazel and the head of the hazel custom and use these together. So basically the hazel custom without the normal v-fin with this one on there, which is the same as what you get with the advanced hazel, but in this case it's meant to be all in white. So that's why you need to use the head of the regular hazel custom. That said, if you're going to be painting, it doesn't matter because you just use the full head of the advanced hazel. Anyway, I know it's getting pretty complicated, but let's just uh, pop that onto there. So there's how it's looking so far. You'll need to take your arm from the hazel custom and put on this new shoulder armor here from the primrose set that will just pop onto there like that. And then you have this little part that's gonna attach onto the front of there like so. That is going to be our right arm over here. And the same thing for the opposite arm, we just have a new set of shoulder armor here for this from the Primrose. And in this case, it doesn't have that extra little bit that goes on the top, it's just like that, pretty simple. That will be our new left arm. Then for the leg, we're also gonna use a combination of the two, mostly the leg here from the Hazel Custom, but you need to also then use the special boot attachments here from the Advanced Hazel, so that he's got the super shoes, and you need to repeat that for the left and the right side. And then once again with the waist armor section here as well, you're just gonna use the waist section of the Advanced, or the uh, Hazel Custom, and then take this part from the Advanced Hazel, the special equipment, attach that onto the front, reattach this back onto here, put the legs back onto here, attach our cool new upper body to the top of here as well carefully and so there we go it's looking pretty cool we're not quite done yet though the cannon bit from the primrose will attach onto that little hard point there up underneath his armpit there so that goes in there like that and then this bit remember this guy this one will actually attach here onto the front i think this one's going to be a little bit tricky that just plugs onto there like so and then we need the tri booster backpack from the hazel 2 and that is gonna be our backpack for this guy. So I'll just plug that onto there. Then we need to go back to our Hoodoo parts. And you need this long blade rifle parts from the Hoodoo. You just separate this out and remove this little bit here in the center. Uh, for the blade, you're going to move that to the forward position. So it's a little bit further extended out. Then you're gonna take your beam rifle from the Hazel Custom and plug this onto the front of there and this part over the back of that here. And because this is now so long and unwieldy, we also have a new hand, a new trigger finger hand included with the Primrose set that gives you the little bit bent wrist there so you're actually able to hold this a little bit better. And wondering what this little hook doodad there on the front of the shoulder is for, it actually connects into the bottom of that here just for a little added stability. And then go ahead and plug your hand into the arm if you can here. And you thought we must be getting close to being done, right? And we are close, but we're not quite done yet. If We of course still need the shield too. And for the shield, you can take your pick, but of course I'm going to go with the bulkier option just because why not? We're already loading this thing up with everything in the kitchen sink. So you just attach that onto the arm and we are finally all done. But God dang, it takes a lot of work and it takes the combination of parts from a lot of different kits to get this to actually be finally all together. But you can't argue with those results. I mean, this is like a pretty awesome like, ultimate form hazel if I ever saw one. So it's really cool. I really like the look of this. It looks fantastic once you get everything all put together and it's just going through it, putting it together and thinking, oh God dang, when is this ever going to end? Take a couple parts from this kit, take a couple of parts from that kit, take a couple parts from that kit, and then finally it comes together and you're like, all right, that's pretty awesome. So this is really cool, especially if you're a big Advanced Zeta fan like myself. It's really cool to finally see this all put together. I never would have thought I'd have just like a plastic model kit version 
of the Hazel Osla, but it's really cool. So I love this, it's really awesome. But there is still yet actually one more thing that you can build with the Primrose set here. And fortunately it's pretty simple. So let's have a look here at the final form, the Hazel Next Generation Mass Production Machine. So basically in order to make this, we just need to remove a lot of the stuff off of here. So we're gonna remove the shield, we need to remove this part off the front of the shoulder here, we need to remove this long rifle and the connection piece for that out the top of the shoulder over here. Need to remove the ammo packs off the side skirts for some reason, I guess. Need to remove the whole backpack. And one thing that I don't like about the HTUC Hazel in all its many different forms is that this backpack is really hard to get out. Always, the pegs are quite long on it. It plugs really far into the torso and so it's always difficult to remove the backpacks on these. And we're gonna also remove this part here, uh, bet like between the torso and the arm. You remove that, plug the arm back onto there. Same thing on the other side. So the torso has a very slimmer, much slimmer proportion there with just that little tiny torso. Then we're gonna take the backpack from our primrose parts, and this is going to be our new backpack for this guy. And then the beam saber handle from the Hazel Custom for our beam saber, and there we go. That is the next generation mass production machine. So basically just a slimmed down version of the Hazel Oslo without all the extra equipment on there. So there you have it, even in this slimmed down form, I really like the look of this version of this as well. So glad I got a couple of Primrose sets that allows me to make some different versions of this ultimately. So that is it for everything, at least what's covered in the manual that you can make here with the Primrose. So we do still need yet to go over the Hurudu 2 part set that'll be coming up in the next video. And then I just recently got in the HD Hazenthlay 2 Raw, which is a massive kit. We'll be taking a look at that one in the near future as well. So we got some more advanced data stuff on the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're fans of Advanced Zeta, then hopefully you enjoy seeing this stuff. It certainly takes a while to go through all the different forms and everything of these, but uh, it's still just cool that you can do so much with these, even if you have to sacrifice some parts here and there. It's cool that you're able to make all these different forms and stuff. So again, if you guys have any other further questions or comments, do feel free to leave those down below. And as always, thank you to USA Gundam Store for their support, guys. Check the link down below to the USA Gundam Store site and any P Bandai stuff or everything there on the site. You can save 10% off using my coupon code ZACHARILIUS10, so check that out. All right, that's it for today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.